Hello, and Rand here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Elk Mountain, Wyoming. And since last episode, finished up everything with our hayfields, also fertilized them as well. So it'll probably be another month here before they're ready to be mowed here again. Uh, but looks like uh, looking at our information screen here for our animals, everyone, we actually made it through the night here on, I think actually all of them. Uh, yes, we did. Although it looks like we need to do some uh, feeding here. So that's what we're going to be working on here this episode. Uh, we actually made it through the night here. Some I'm not sure how that was. Actually, what it probably was, Evan, is I left some bales in the feeding trough. So maybe that's uh, what helped. That might be the trick, maybe. Maybe I'll have to uh, make sure I do a little more of that here in the future just to make sure there's some in there. Um, also, I noticed our cow barn here, Evan, is not full. So that means we're probably out of something over here. I don't know what. Um. Oh, are we out of silage, I wonder? Yes, we are out of silage. Okay, there's probably a problem, everyone. Which, these should be silage now, right? Oh, not quite. 95%. Okay, well, there's a problem. Everyone. We are out of silage. Uh, unfortunately, our silage ba bales aren't quite done fermenting yet. Looks like probably just another couple hours here in game time, and they will be, so that'll take care of that problem. I'm not sure what this bale is doing out here. Let's just uh, we'll toss this back in here a minute. That'll take care of that. Uh, speaking, actually, of this barn here... Uh, is there anything else we need? Yes, there is. We need loose straw in here, which I don't... Does that show up? Okay, it does show up on that screen. Okay. So one thing I hate about these barns, everyone, it, uh, like, you go look at this information screen here, but it doesn't actually, like, show everything you necessarily need. Um, like, straw. It does show the building straw, I guess. But then, of course, it doesn't show any of this stuff. It doesn't show, like, the mineral feed. Uh, speaking of watch, how are we looking on mineral feed? Oh, we got a decent amount in there. Yeah, we should be good on that. Everything else should be pretty good. Oh, let's go grab. Actually, you know what? I just thought of something. We got uh, manure and slurry here. I don't know if we're ever actually going to get around to using that or not, everyone. Uh, I put the manure and slurry down so we could actually maybe use some manure and slurry here in uh, the future. But looks like there's actually a fair amount in here. Does it show somewhere? Can I see? 290,000. I guess. I guess that's it. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's a 290,000. That's actually a decent amount of slurry there. We probably actually could make use of that. Although, with that being said, I'm, I'm planning on wrapping up this map here next episode. So next episode is going to be the last episode. If I'm doing the math right here, let's see when it's going to be Friday, right? Yes. Now, next episode should be the last episode on this map. And like I said, we'll start the new year. Brand new map. Might be just a little too early for this map. I don't know because we had some things we wanted to do on here yet. But oh well. New year, new map, everyone seems like a good way to go. Let's grab our water tanker. We'll give the uh, animals some water here in a minute. We'll just uh, kind of just work our way down through here. Again, there's not much we can do about the silage. Everyone will just have to wait for that one. But all the hay and stuff, we'll do what we can there. I picked up all the bales, Evan, so what we have is what we have. And I don't think there's going to be enough. We'll find out here. Might have to make a trip down to the uh, shop here to buy more bales. Maybe I should have uh, listened to you folks and done actually field five in hay. Maybe that would have actually been enough for a change, but I figured the two fields on would be a plenty, but maybe not. Okay, that one is full. I'm definitely thinking with the, uh, the manure and slurry we have going on of one, uh, depending on the next map, maybe we'll try to carry that over to the next map. We'll see once here. Kind of tentatively what I'm thinking here at this point. Oh, and by the way, you may notice the uh, the money we have up top here. I don't know if Auto Drive finished selling all the canola here or not. I see the dump truck is parked across the bridge here, so let's uh, just have you finish going back to the farm here. Are we actually out of canola? So canola here, yeah, pretty much. We got 9,000. I'm not worried about selling the last little bit there. Just have you uh, farm silo. Ah, yeah, that's fine. Just, just go there. That'll work. Hopefully, this is enough water here to fill up uh, both these uh, cow pastures. Should be close, I would think. And then while we're over here, we'll unload what uh, bales we can here as well. Had almost uh, two full trailer loads off of Field 1 there, by the way. And that's Field 1, not Grass Field 1. At least what I call Grass Field 1, anyway. Maybe I should uh, rename Grass Field 1 to Grass Field 2 now that we actually have Field 1 as a Grass Field as well. So, yeah, that's not confusing at all. Not one little bit. 
I have not figured out how to auto unload this trailer, by the way, Evan. Um, I, in the past, I have been able to auto unload it. But uh, try as I might here last episode, I could not get this trailer to auto unload for some reason. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but like I said, I know I've gotten it to work in the past, but it was not working with me here yesterday. I ended up having to manual, which uh, for what we're doing here is fine. I probably want to manually unload this anyway, just so I can dump it right in where I want it. Ooh, that's going to fill it up. Okay, well, let's uh, even this out. One more bale should be pretty close to even, I would think. There we go. And we'll go put the rest in the other pen here. And then, like I was saying, we should probably just uh, plan on heading down to the shop and uh, picking up another load of bales here, because I don't think we'll have enough bales to make it through the night here. I mean, if we really wanted to, we probably could. But we'll run out, no doubt. Come on, bales. I know what's up with this trailer. It seems like they, uh, like they fit in here so tight sometimes you can't actually get them out. And it ends up picking up the whole trailer. Okay, let's see once here. If I move that one over. Hey, look at that. And this last bell, you know what? I'm going to put this in the other one here just so we got a uh, relatively even amount. We'll have four extra bales in each one. Uh... Works for me. I didn't do that one quite as nicely as did I. Oh, the uh, the last one over here definitely turned out a little bit nicer as far as the bale stacking. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Come on. There we go. Okay, and like so, let's have this truck head down to uh, the shop here then. We'll grab a load of probably square bales or something like that. I really should take the time to figure out, does this hold more square bales or more round bales as far as, like, capacity? I'm not necessarily talking, like, the number of bales. I know it holds obviously holds more small round bales than it does large square bales, but uh, when you actually uh, get right down to it, is that more or less? I don't You would assume the, uh, the square bales should be more, I would think, because uh, let's see what's so We're going to go to the shop. Yep. At least that would make sense to me, anyone. You know, the uh, square bales sh should hold more. Just because there's less uh, wasted space being a uh, square bale. Not sure if that's the way it works in the game or not. Haven't taken the time to figure that out. Anyway, back to the farm. Speaking of bales, you know what? I probably should have saved one of these for the horses. The horses might need some hay here. We'll see once I I guess I didn't look too closely at that, did I? By the way, uh, when it comes to the water here, Evan, I have been buying a crap ton of water here uh, through the silo system here. Uh, with this uh, silo system we're using, we do have to buy the water. I probably should just like put a pump down in so I don't have to worry about it, but I haven't uh, actually done that. I've just been filling up through here, which is kind of nice and easy, but like I said, you have to buy the water. So yeah, if you want to just buy it, you know, $20,000 fills it up. I have done this multiple, multiple times though. So to give you an idea how much water we're going through, everyone, it's uh, uh, however much this, was it 250? I think it's 250,000 liters or something like that. Um, Probably every other day, maybe. Oh, maybe not every other. Maybe every, like, three days, something like that. I have to fill it up. It's a mite ridiculous, if you ask me. Anyway, let's go check our animals here, see what's how we're doing. And if we're doing okay, we might just end up skipping some time here. So, yeah, those cows. Oh, we need straw. That's right. We'll get that taken care of here in a minute. Uh, we're all good on that one. All good on those as well. Also, we're about 88% on puberty here. Uh, so we're about ready to sell these cows again. We might not actually get to that here, unfortunately, Evan, because uh, next episode, uh, puberty 72%, uh, base food, base is, oh yeah, it's the hay we kind of need. 
Yeah, okay. Well, well, when we grab some bales, I'm going to throw a bale in by the, the horses there. They should be good for here a little bit. Uh, let's go get some straw here for these cows, and then we should be doing pretty good once we get that uh, taken care of here. Not sure how much loose straw we have. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I don't want to disconnect it there. There we go. Oh, maybe this was not a good choice of tractors here with the big white wheels. I think this fits in there, doesn't it? We'll find out. Is that the cow barn that is? Don't know if you can refill this loading wagon here. Not. We're going to find out. I'm going to try this here first. Um, if not, I want the dump truck might work. Let's see if this works here first. Okay, let's head down to the shop here real quick. Wow, that was quick. He got down there fast. Nice. Go uh, buy some bales here. Man, like I said, we'll just buy the uh, the square variety. And we'll get two stacks of eight. That should have been two stacks of eight, right? Yep. And we'll just set the truck over to doing square bales. Square. I think there's one more, right? Yeah, 240. I believe that's the one. So many different uh, bale sizes now. Everyone is uh, uh, keeping track of the different bale sizes. And we got... At least on our farmyard, we got two different round balers to begin with. So we got two different size round bales. And we're buying square bales down at the shop here. So. Get on there. And of course, it's always uh, too short. Looks like it would just fit, doesn't it? In fact, it looks like it should fit if it would actually go down in there. Uh, it doesn't quite, though, does it? Oh, well. We'll just uh, stack that on top. Okay, maybe not. Try that again. A little further back, so that way it uh, hopefully sets down. There we go. Come on, work with me, physics. Yeah, who am I kidding? Physics and farming simulator. <laughs> that's, uh, uh, that's the joke of the century there. Okay, back to the farmyard. That being said, for those of you who maybe never played any of the previous versions of farming simulator, uh, you know, 17, 15, 13, uh, 11. I don't know if there's bales back in 09. Someone can maybe uh, remember that one for me. I don't recall if there was or not. But, uh, yeah, if you think the physics in this game are bad, I mean, you should have gone and played some of the previous versions. Uh, the, the physics have definitely gotten better in some ways. Okay, I think the loading, is it in the middle or the end here? Looks like in the middle. Okay. Actually, I don't know if I ever really uh, talked about this uh, shed that I have sitting here. But, uh, this is supposed to hold loose straw. We got, oh, we actually don't have that much in there. 111,000. Okay. So that's what I did with all the uh, loose straw here. Because, again, I don't know if I actually tested this here or not. But I don't think that cow barn there will take bailed straw here for the bedding straw. Even though it's straw. Don't ask me why. I, I, I don't understand the concept of that. Why would you not take bailed straw? In fact, a lot of times that's how it's done, right? At least around where I live, anyway. Um, any form of storage as far as like straw and hay, it's typically always bailed. There's there's no such thing as, oh, this is distracting one wide, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I should have grabbed an arrow or tracker. Gotta be careful, that's all. But yeah, like I said, I've never heard of storing loose straw before. I mean, you know, actually, maybe I shouldn't say that. that. That was probably something that was done back in you know, the, the 1900s or something. I went back in the day where they used to just, what, rake it up into big piles. But in the last, what, probably 50 years? I'm going to go 50 years. I could be a little off a few decades on that one. But in the last uh, 50 years, I mean, when it comes to storage of straw... It is all stored in a bale form. 
don't store straw this way. I'm gonna, I don't know. That's a European thing or what? But uh, how full is the barn here? And that is, oh, okay. So we can definitely put another load in here easy. Another load will probably about do it. Now, I made the mistake, Kevin. I'm not planting any uh, sort of wheat or barley or oats this time around here. So hopefully the uh, straw we have will last us long enough. One more episode, I saw it. That means I don't probably have to worry about it, but. Yeah, and this should be uh, enough to last a while. I think we'll just uh, call it good with the second load here. Might not quite fill them up, but like I said, should be close enough. Also, by the way, you may notice that when we have no milk here in these uh, barns, um, that's not, well, it's because we got the type of cows we have. When we're growing beef cows here, not milk cows. I say growing. We're growing crops here. We're, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Not growing, per se, because we're not growing animals. That seems a little weird. Whatever. Well, we'll get the hay up here from uh, the... Actually, it might be up here already. I think it is. Yep, there's the truck. See it. Perfect. Uh, we'll get one bale over by the horses there, and then we should be pretty good, I think, to uh, skip time through the night here. There's nothing else to do in the game here. I've won as far as the day is concerned, I don't think, anyway. Are we not in planting season? Are we for... Uh, actually we are. We are in planting season for wheat, barley, and canola. Hmm, if I'd known that, I, mean, I should have probably planted a few. We'll probably just go ahead and skip time one more day anyway. Because then I'm hoping uh, tomorrow in game time, everyone, the hay fields will be ready to be mowed again. We'll probably, uh, we'll probably start on that. Ooh, I didn't think of it. What I should have done was I should have thrown some of the slurry on the hay fields. Oh well. Actually, I didn't check. I don't have any extra bales over here, do I? Nope, I do not. I think I'll do them, I mean, I'll just grab both these bales off the back here. We'll take both of these two the horses. I'll probably only put the one in. Don't even get me started on the whole uh, stupidity that is the feeding system here in, uh, in Farming Simulator, everyone. Well, let's see. Horses. Yeah, not quite full. That should be good enough for now, though. I don't know if we can quite put another bale in or not, so they're pretty even here at the moment. Cleanliness, yeah, we should probably go around and clean them a little bit here at some point. Yeah, good enough for now. Okay, they will do it. Let's head over to our other cow pastures here. Let me uh, speed up time here a little bit. We'll just uh, bring it up to like 120. Uh, let's go a little faster. Go 360. Throw the straps back on this here too before something bad happens. Because what I don't want to do at this point, I'm going to just go to the house, sleep for the night. I know the open pastures here will definitely run out if I do that. So I want to get time to maybe, I don't know, around 1,800 here or so. Uh, we'll fill the cow pastures here back up, and then that should get us through the night here, hopefully. I guess that's my plan anyway. Well, let's see how much is left of these. Not much. Not much at all. Also, how are we looking on the other uh, cow barn here as well? Because the other one should be filling up here at this point, I would think. Uh, it's still going down yet. Definitely still going down. I might have to, like, go take a look at that. I'm going to see once if we can uh, maybe uh, throw a few bales around and get the game to recognize. It might just not be, you know, recognizing it has bales in there. I think as long as it's right next to it, it'll still recognize it as far as I know. We'll just like shove it in as far as it can here. Then I'll take the remaining bales over to the other one, so we'll kind of just split it up half and half here is what I'm figuring. Everyone. 
go. And the last one, let me slow the time back down here because it is getting dark out. There we go. Let's see how long that lasts them. I think we actually got enough to last through the night here for a change, Evan. It'd be a miracle. I'm betting that one bale there just needs to be, like, tossed around and it'll probably disappear, I'm guessing, because... Yeah, there it goes. I was going to say. No way that that bale should be left yet. Okay, there goes that bale. Uh, you know what? I can probably make this a little easier on myself. I keep forgetting about this. Let's hold the sides down. Okay, there we go. Hold those sides back up here, and let's head back to the farmyard. And let's go check on the uh, cow barn here first before I go ahead and sleep through the night. I want to make sure that's good. And we got both uh, fields, let's see, is it three and four? I think it's three and four of them that we harvested uh, canola on. Uh, what we can do, I don't know if we'll get to it here this episode or not, uh, we'll uh, start replanting those fields here in wheat. And that will have more uh, more straw here in the future. Uh, again, one more episode, Evan, so we'll never probably actually get around to it, but... Oh, uh, let's see, so there's still no silage, is there? They got everything else they need, right? Yes, they just need silage, which the, those bales should be done by now, right? Like I said, we might just have to, like, jostle them around just so the game realizes they're there. Yep, they are silage here at this point, so just, uh, kind of, like, uh, move them around here. There we go, but now they see they're starting to disappear here. Game just needed to, uh, like, realize and basically update that they're actually here. Just kind of toss them around a little bit. That should be pretty good. It is definitely going up, though. That's for sure. Definitely won't want to see. Oh, it stopped. Why did it stop? Might need some more silage. <laughs> these bales are these bales are dissipating quicker than I thought they would. Okay, there we go. I think we're finally full. 120,000. This holds a little bit more silage than it does of the rest of the hay and the straw. Speaking of hay here, actually, we're not doing too bad. 67,000. That should be enough to last them a while yet. And now, of course, with what you're seeing there on the capacity, it'll take a while for that to uh, fill back up there again. Uh, kind of unfortunate. We actually ran out there, but oh well, is what it is. Mineral feed. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. So now the feeding system in here will have to uh, kind of do its thing here, and it should, uh, should fill back up fairly quickly, I would think. Cows there are good. Cows there are good. Good there as well. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll sleep through the night here, everyone. We'll come back for the next in-game day here. And then we'll start... Uh, hopefully the hay fields are ready to mow. If so, we'll start mowing those. Uh, if they're not, at the very least, we're going to start working on fields three and four. So we'll be right back here in a minute, everyone. Okay, and we are back. Brand new day in the game here. Let's see once how our cows fared through the night here. We are looking at... Oh, actually, they did pretty good. They did pretty good. So that might be the trick. I mean, I just got to, like, pile up the bales here around the, uh, the the feeding troughs there. And that'll hopefully, you know, keep them good through the night. Apparently, even if you're sleeping, I guess the game does still, like, pull from those. I wasn't sure, like, if you pile them up there, does it, like, just ignore it until you're done sleeping? But looks like it does actually uh, pull from that. Okay, let's check and see once if the hay field is ready here. So we first we gotta turn on the grass. I don't know why when I mean I guess in some ways it makes sense having that giants turns this off. 
But at the same time, too, when you have hay fields, I mean, you're constantly having to turn it on. So it'd be nice maybe uh, if we had the option, like, once you turn it on, it stays on, if that makes sense. I don't know. Anyway. Yes, excellent. I mean, hay fields are ready to be mowed, so let's grab a tractor and get going on that here. I think our tractors are actually over here yet from last time. Yep. At least one tractor is anyway. Okay, well, I guess the white it is. Grab the mower here. And we are going to get started mowing. And you know what I want to... We might actually have time to use some manure and slurry here yet. Let's not hold this out here as well. Um, maybe not this episode, but maybe next episode. We got fields three and four we're going to work on replanting here. Uh, maybe for next episode, I'm gonna, we'll look at... Uh, Getting a slurry spreader here of some sort. Maybe even set up some auto driving course like this. We'll have to see one coming. Yeah. This uh, nice and straight here. Looks like that's pretty good. And I don't believe I've ever saved the uh, course like course for the mowing, have I? I should double check that. I might have. Grass field one. I actually did. Okay. Well, let's just. Uh... Oh. We got a course already on here? I guess we do. Here's that one. And then we'll load up that one, which I could have cleared it from here, too. I just wasn't sure what was on it, so. It is not... Wait, what? No. Load course. Okay, there we go. Not sure what was up with that. It was kind of weird. Uh, we're straight. Looks pretty close to me. First waypoint. Right, of course. Okay. Course plays we're going on that. Then let me grab another tractor. I'm going to want to head out to fields three and four. Let's uh, see once here. Where do we got? Where's the rest of my tractors at? 4840's over here. There's the Kubota. What, 7710 maybe in this other shed? That's probably actually where it is. It's probably attached to the uh, fertilizer spreader. Get a tractor headed over to fields three and four here. I'm going to throw the mulcher on those, Evan. We'll, uh, we'll mulch those fields up. And then, like I said, next episode, we'll maybe look at uh, putting some slurry or something like that on. Now, keep in mind, I mean, with the uh, slurry, uh, it's going to put a straight rate of fertilizer on. Um, so, yeah, when it comes to precision farming, that is uh, that is interesting. I mean, I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work out here. Uh, yeah, I think wheat. Yeah, wheat is a little bit higher on the nitrogen requirement. So that should be okay. That's the mulcher, yep. Double check. Make sure this one is the mulcher here. Something I still need to look for. I'm going to see if we can find some nice uh, modded mulchers here. Something that's maybe a little bit wider. Maybe a little more uh, American. Although this is pretty much the same as what you'd find in America here. Although, as far as I know, the only thing I've really ever seen these used for here in America is like on cornfields. Uh, going through and just uh, trying to knock down your corn stalks, everyone. Uh, a farmer will use something like this. It's, it's basically uh, got a swinging knife on it, kind of sort of. I'm not entirely sure what you would call that. Uh, sometimes you got chains on them, it, it varies a little bit. But basically, you're just going through your cornfield and knock corn stalks down. Um, not quite as common anymore, everyone. Uh, just with the uh, the corn heads with their uh, chopping knives and sometimes the uh, the system for knocking the stalks down right on basically right on the combine right everyone so don't have to do this quite so much anymore still see a few farmers that'll do it yet but again that probably depends on uh, what they have for a corn head right anyway I'm gonna get course by going on this as well Okay, three, yeah, three headlines. That should be pretty good. Oh, did I click the wrong button? Generate course. There we go. And then first right point. We're sitting right in front of the ride course. And if you're wondering, by the way, you, you probably noticed I don't typically save my course play course seven. Just the amount of time it takes to generate them is so quick almost quicker just to generate the course than it is to save the course and you gotta go back through and load the course it's not like course play at least from what i can tell they haven't made it as easy as it used to be in the past to just load a course that one it used to be real quick and easy in the past you load up a course but now you gotta go through the menu and load and activate by that time i mean i can just generate a new course 
and then I know it's usually right. I don't have to worry about having the wrong course. And, uh, you folks get it, right? So anyway, on that note, we're going to have to wrap it up here for this episode. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching, and until next time.